Okay. Hi everyone, my name is Celine, and so today I'm going to be talking about self-confidence. I know, it's a lot. We have a lot of confidence when we're young because it just comes naturally. We're, we're so spontaneous, we just like to get out there and do stuff. But as you get older, confidence starts to die down. And I'm sure you can agree because when you get older and you meet new people and you get comments and judgments by them, it makes you feel very insecure. And then you start to doubt yourself. That's when the confidence starts sinking. And that's not a bad thing because I feel like everyone goes through that. I've definitely went through that. You might meet people from school that you thought were your friends and then they just betray you and it just lets you down. That will always be something you'll be struggling with. All right, so we have all as teenagers and children, when you go into primary school, you will definitely start to meet people and you will find that some people actually aren't that nice and they'll actually make mean comments about you and you start to doubt yourself wondering if like what is what they say true am i actually that ugly or do i actually need to do that etc and so there's so much stuff that makes you question yourself and that's it's normal because i myself have been through that I'm sure many of you uh, you guys have been through that, but today's video, I am not going to be talking about things that may let you down, and I am going to be talking about, I don't know if you can see that, self-confidence. Okay, let's get started. All right, I don't know if you can see it very well, but today I'm going to be talking about how to build your self-confidence. Okay, here comes the cool transition, ready? Step number one. All right, let's just pretend that transition was really cool. But um, first you need to adjust your posture. All right, you're sitting down. This is when you slump. You're doing your work. This is when you slump. But if you try it with me right now, try to slump. And then now try to sit up straight with your back straight and your head forward and you do your work how does that feel i know it's crazy makes a big difference makes you feel so much more confident i don't know what works for me it might not work for you but you know it makes you feel like a boss like you sit up straight okay next all right number two when you're in a rough situation and you somehow run into a problem like for example, there's this essay that's literally due tomorrow and you forgot to do it. And then you're like, I'm so unproductive. I should have done it like so many days ago. What is literally wrong with me? I'm so bad at keeping good time management skills. You start to talk negatively about yourself. You're starting to think that, oh my God, I'm so dumb. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, why did I do that? I you start to like think really bad about yourself and that is not good. Stop doing that. Next time, just tell yourself, it's fine. Do better next time. It's number two. Number three, take deep breaths. All right, let's say you have a presentation or performance I have to do in a minute and you're literally shaking in your boots and you don't know what to do. What you need to do is calm down i know it's hard i know it's hard to calm down i know but you just need to take deep breaths take it at whatever pace you want whatever makes you feel confident it's assured that you're calmed down and you got this time for step number four what do you feel like when you are wearing the prettiest outfit ever or the outfit that you think you look most confident in and just wear it out and strut those streets 
like you are a boss and you own the world. I know I said that twice, but literally. That's what you do when you dress up nice. Okay. Number five. Number five. Give yourself positive affirmations. Positive affirmations are phrases that you say to yourself when you aren't at your best. So for example, when I'm nervous or it's not confident at all, I'll just say to myself, you got this. You don't have to care about other people. You have to just be you because that is very true. You have to just be you. You can't pretend to be someone else to be confident because when you go home and you're like, man, should have just been myself. That would have been way better. Number six, learn how to accept criticism. That is probably the most important one. One of the important ones. You need to learn that no matter whatever someone says about you, like, ew, you're ugly, or like, your body doesn't look nice. You need to get skinnier. You don't gotta take it into mind, okay? You don't gotta care about what they say because that is not true. You look the best if you were you, literally. You don't have to be someone else to be at your best. But yeah, you need to learn how to accept judgments and comments about other people without getting affected. Like for example, I may get hate comments every single day and I'll just, either I don't read them, or I just like, forget about it and move on. Really? All right, last one. And the last one is to let yourselves have bad days. Because I can guarantee you, the way to build self-confidence is to always let yourself, well, not always, but you have to let yourself have bad days sometimes. Like, it's gonna be a long journey to get through this and to build your, your confidence to the top. It is really hard. I haven't made it to the top yet. Don't think it's easy because it is not, unless you're really good at it. But, gotta let yourself have bad days sometimes. It always happens. It always happens. But it's, it's all worth it when you have good days. You can naturally have self-confidence like you were as a child. I know, it's a big accomplishment. All right.